Hello everyone and this is another tutorial for Python. So today we'll be doing file handling, right? So what exactly is file handling? So to understand file handling, you can say that you have a very, very big, like a really, really huge variable, right? With like tens of thousands of values. Like let's say you have the complete B movie filled with a variable, right? Now what you want is to actually read the variable after that you have closed the program so let's say you've printed the whole b movie and then now what you want is when the user runs the program again you want to print it but you want to print it with additional changes that the user did let's say the the user actually printed the dialogue of the b and then asked you that oh what is your response to this dialogue and then my response was hello so now it actually wants to save this response and sh show this response or we can consider another uh, another example, right? So this is an example. We have saved the user's password into a file. Why a file? Because we want to keep on changing it. We have like a database that we have to keep on changing, which has like tens of thousands of users. And then we have the program connected to it. So of course we want to read from files. We want to save from files. Um, file handling, whichever field you're doing, data science, AI, whatever you're doing, file handling is very vital and used everywhere. So let's just review what file handling exactly is, right? So let's just jump into code. Um, so there are different modes on how to actually read a file. Let's just start from the first. So to read a file, the first thing is you have to open a file in the read mode, right? Just to read it. Um, you can consider this like a read only mode. So this is like a read only mode. You can't really make changes right onto it, but this is the uh, open file in write mode, which allows you to create or overwrite the file, right? What this would do is you, if you would have like, you know, let's say we have example um, .txt, which has, you know, which has, which has your password in it, right? So now the problem that has occurred is that um, you want to read it, you would read from here. If you want to write it or if you want to create it, on spot you would use this if you would run this it would actually erase the contents right so you have to make sure that you don't actually play around with this as much and then now we have open a file in append mode which adds it says adds a line to the end of the file then we have the binary mode as well this has actually never been used i've never been using it so um it's it's, it's there so then we have actually have to read the entire contents to make changes right so to read it and then save it into a variable you can do open and this is R. If you forget in what R does, it opens in read mode, right? So we have opened it as R and then we've actually read the contents and then we've printed the contents, right? And then we can use only the first line doing by doing read line, right? And then we can do read all lines into a list. We can use read lines. So these are the three things to read. And then now this is actually to write, right? Now we've done read. Now let's write. So this was actually, you know, saving and reading, and then this is actually appending and then inserting or injecting, um, right? So this is how to write a single string to the file, right? And then this, we have to write multiple lines using in write lines, right? So this is using file.write, file.write lines. Both of them are here. We could be using both of them. It depends on the usage. If I want to write multiple lines, let's say in this example, we have first line, second and third. If you want to do this we would use write lines but if we want to use one line we would actually use file.write and then let's go next we have um, appending a new line appending a single line onto it so how actually you know if you want to append like a one new line at the end or at the start you could use this file.write usually the most um, method is used file.write we have manually opening and closing the file which is just file equal open rather than using you know file with open right then we have automatically handling opening and closing the file so this automatically closes and automatically reopens whenever required and then we have of course exception handling so the reason i went so quickly is because file handling it is one of the most major topics to be learned but it can't be really learned by you know seeing it in action it has to be learned by yourself so i'll give you a task to actually make an app and implement it into your life so your task is you have to download the Bumblebee movie in .txt and then you have to extract all the time that the, he said, you know, he said B, right? And then this is one difficult task which will take you time. So let's see if you can actually do it. Um, 
all the methods are here and i'll include these in the description of the video so you can actually go through all the methods and um, there's not really any logic here mostly it's just memorizing and then using whenever you're required if um, I'll, I'll go over again quickly so it's as simple as this this is how to open a file this is how to open a file we have three different modes we have w we have a and then we have rb these are three different modes and then all of them do different functionality and then these are how to read in three different modes so we can read the entire content we can read only first line and then we can read all lines as well right and then we have a single string you can also write it and then we have appending a new line and then we have manually opening and closing a file and then we have automatically handling and opening and closing we have everything right onto it so this was the video thank you for watching and then i'll catch you in the next one